is Joseph Coca. I'm at MTAC 2014 on behalf of Beckett Holborn's Art Process Blog. Keep on trucking Natto Soup. If you could introduce yourself, please, Paul. Uh, I'm Paul Korn. I'm the lead writer over at Weird Cross Studios. Uh, we do comics with kind of fantasy action themes and all that kind of stuff. So, yep. uh, you know, we've got zombie hitmen, parkour gnomes, raver illusionists, all kinds of stuff running around. We just try and have a good time with it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, fits right in at an anime convention. Uh, so what's been kind of the inspiration behind this? Uh, did you approach the artist or did they approach you? Have you known each other for a while? Uh, well, we originally met online when I was still just writing like prose stories. Yeah. And uh, they and they said, hey, I, and, hey, could we do some uh, character sketches for you? And it just kind of started escalating from there. Eventually, we uh, did an entry into Tokyo Pop's uh, Rise of Stars and Manga contest the last yeah. year. That, that was a thing. So that um, must have been like uh, mid two thousands. Yeah, it was. Uh, I believe it was 07. I'm not 100 percent sure on that, but it's around that year. So that actually became the first issue out of Zoku Show. And, okay. uh, yeah, and then it just kind of kept escalating, and eventually we started putting it on the web. And once we had enough material, we just uh, decided to do a print run, and we started going to conventions. All right, and what's been your experience with that so far? I know you said the first convention you went to was OhioCon uh, last yeah. year, right? Yeah, uh, 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 2013's uh, OhioCon, we uh, like we were still kind of figuring it out. Uh, we were still figuring out like how to pitch to people and you know how to uh, how to really present what it is we're doing. You know, yeah. but I think that we've kind of found our groove. We've gone to a few more conventions like uh, MatsuriCon, uh, last year's MTAC, and. Uh, uh, we also did the uh, Lexington Comic and Toy Convention just a, uh, just a month or so ago. So uh, we've, been, we, uh, we've been slowly gaining experience with this whole selling stuff thing, and we keep on getting more and more material to show to people. So that always seems to help, having just a variety of things and showing that we're willing to put into work. Yeah. Um, so you were talking about uh, discovering the, the best way to reach out to your audience, essentially. Are you um, branding yourself as um, OEL manga, I guess you would say? I mean, I realize coming out of the rise of the right. stars. Yeah, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things that I tend to just think of our stuff as comics in general. Yeah. If anybody There's adds, nothing wrong I mean, with calling it comics. Yeah. I mean, it's just sequential art. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the, the art style is definitely manga influenced. Yeah. Know? And the thing is that a lot of the plot, and the plot stuff comes from kind of anime tropes. We did kind of the shonen boss rush pretty much through volume two in its entirety there. Yep. But, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they, so, I mean, since we're Americans, I just feel more comfortable calling it comics, but, you know, it's not one of those things where I would, you know, correct somebody if they called it comics. You know, I'm not in that particular uh, I just know it's it's almost like a loaded word at this point to call something original English language um, yeah. manga. So I was just wondering uh, where you fell on that and, and how audiences were responding uh, to your, your more manga influence style. Um, or, I'm sorry, your art is more manga influence style. I, I assume you, you also draw inspiration from uh, manga and anime for your writing as well? Yeah, definitely. Uh, like, one of the things that originally prompted me to write some of the stories that eventually became Zoku Show is I, I, I wanted to, more stories out there that were like uh, Outlaw Star. Because okay. I must have watched that just pretty much on repeat from the ages of like 14 to 16. And it just kept on circulating in the house. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's all, that, like, it may not be the best produced series, it may not be, you know, the best overall thing, but it is my favorite series ever. So, just the combination of magic and tech kind of really coalesced into what this became. So, yeah. Uh, so you said you've done a variety of conventions. Do you find um, your fans are responding better at uh, more anime type conventions or more comic I, uh, casual sort we've of only conventions? Done, we've only done one comic specific convention, but I okay. feel that we do a little bit better at anime conventions. It's, it's, close, it's close, but I would, uh, I would definitely say that I feel a bit more at home here. You yeah. know? I mean, there's definitely anime fans at comic conventions, and there's definitely comic fans at anime conventions. So there's enough right. overlap in the Venn diagram to really, you know, uh, to make it worth our time to go to a comic convention. But if, if, if I had to choose between the two, I would probably go to OhioCon again as opposed to, uh, as opposed to Lexington or Wizard World or something like that. Yeah, well, I mean, 
people are looking for different things at different conventions, obviously. But, exactly. Uh, it, I, I think your 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 work fits in pretty well at, at either convention, so that's great. Mm -hmm. um, so, would you have any advice to uh, uh, other manga influenced um, artists who are considering coming to an anime convention like Intact? Uh, I mean, honestly, it's the, the the basic advice I give to everybody that you know asking me about this kind of stuff is just just get out there and do stuff. You know, like you know, everybody. A lot of people come to our table asking, you know, how do we get started in comics? You know, and I, and I just say, just make comics. You know, yeah. It, it, even if it's just a There's short, no one thing, you know, just get that experience. You know, and show uh, and you know, learn from what you're doing. You know, see wh what works and what doesn't. You know, and just get out there. And so that kind of extends to you know the whole idea of getting a table and selling stuff to people, and you know, learning you know how to effectively you know pitch your stuff, learn how to you know say, uh, just summarize everything that you're doing and find the buzzwords that really resonate with people, you know, about yeah. your, uh, about your work, you know. And, and certainly, the more experience you have at different types of conventions, you can change the way you're pitching to people exactly. at, at different types exactly. of conventions. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so, where can we find your work online? Is uh, You can find us at waywardcross.com. We update a Zoka show uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. Uh, Shadow Heel and uh, Bullet Forge Samurai are projects that later we're going to do specifically uh, specifically for uh, conventions. So uh, right now we don't have the, any online sales going on. We're still trying to figure out the specifics of that. But, yeah. uh, and what conventions are you going to be attending? You said OhioCon next year yeah, for sure. Yeah, we'll definitely be at OhioCon next year. We're going to uh, MatsuriCon in August, and uh, we're also going to uh, Otacon in uh, August. So that'll okay. be interesting. Yeah, that's a, a, a fairly large anime yeah, that's convention. The, that's the big one. We, yeah. we finally got into that after a couple of years of trying. So, uh, okay. so that'll, that'll be interesting to go to. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that crowd. Yeah. But. Yeah, we hit up uh, Otacon probably about two years ago. There's certainly a lot of people there. You will have to fight uh, to get attention from the dealer's room, though. Their yeah. dealer's room is massive. I, 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 the, there, there are challenges, but I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. For sure. Okay, and um, is there anything uh, else that you wanted to promote? Uh, anything new that, that'll be coming out soon that we can look forward to? Uh, we're almost done with the material for Volume 3. It's going to be certainly focusing on uh, Meek and Micklethwaite, our uh, parkour delivery gnome. Okay. Uh, so that, that's, a, that's a fun little storyline. It's the, it's the first half of her story arc. So, uh, so a lot of stuff's going on with that, and she's going to be spanning from Volume 3 to Volume 4, and then uh, we'll be going into more shooting dudes in suits type stuff. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Uh, well, I hope you have a good impact. Thank you so much. You're welcome.